Well, good morning, church family. It's the first time I've seen you today, and uh, it's good to see you here. Are you, are you glad to be here this morning? Happy Sabbath to you. Yes, thank you for the two of you. Happy Sabbath to you. Happy Sabbath, church. Oh, yes. It's wonderful to be in the tank again this week, and we have with us this morning Sister Mary. And uh, Sister Mary comes to us from uh, just down the road here, and the Lord has truly done something powerful in her life. And I'm just going to turn this over to uh, Garrett, and Sister Betty's going to come up here in just a minute and share. But to Garrett, tell us the story of what happened, because Mary's a little bit shy. She doesn't, she doesn't want to speak, so she asked us to speak for her, but we'll give her an opportunity still. So Garrett, tell us that story. Good morning, church family. I just have to say that Mary has been a wonderful study to have. Not only has she been a Bible study, but she's been a friend. And it's been fantastic to see her grow. You know, um, a couple months ago, we had some final events DVD cards that were mailed into the church. And um, I went out to follow up on those, and guess whose name was in those? Mary's. And I get to her house, and I knock on the door, and her dogs rush in to meet me. And I open up the door, and she looks at me, and I said, hey, are you Mary? And we talked a little bit, and she said, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> and the door closed, and I walked away. But over the next few days, I couldn't forget Mary. And the Lord kept saying, you need to go back. And I'm like, no, she told me to leave. But he said, no, you need to go back. So about two or three days later, I mustered up my courage. The Holy Spirit lived, and I went in, and I knocked on that door again. And when I knocked and she opened that door, what did you say? Come on in. She said, come on in. I've been thinking about you. So we went inside, we had our first Bible study, and here she is today. Amen. And I want to stress the importance that it was nothing that I did. It wasn't my personality, it wasn't anything, it wasn't my teaching, but it was the Word of God. Amen? Amen. The Lord still moves upon people's hearts. And it wasn't Mary that just grew, I grew as well. Amen. So, Sister Betty and Paul Weirmeyer is not here today. They're up, I think, on vacation in New York. But Paul went on several Bible studies. I think he gave some of those Bible studies. And Sister Betty also was on those visits. And Betty, tell us what it did for your experience with Jesus. Well, uh, first of all, oh, yes. <laughs> First of all, I, you know, I'd like to say that how I got involved in the study in the first place was nothing short of the Holy Spirit's leading. Um, one day um, I asked uh, Garrett after a prayer meeting if I could go on a Bible study with him, and he said yes. And we looked at our schedules and it worked out where I could actually go with him. And it was just for, what, one hour a week? And I thought, I could do that. But, but to me, you know, that whole thing, when I look back in retrospect, it was God's answer to prayer for me uh, because I had been talking to him about, um, Lord, is there something else you want me to be doing that I'm not doing? And that, that, thought, was, that thought pattern was prompted by... Uh, a bunch of sermons that pastor had been doing that just convicted me over and over again that there was something else that I should be doing in addition to what I'm doing. And um, so it seemed coincidental that I got together with him, but it wasn't. It really was not coincidental. It was, it was God's will for me to go with him. And um, I really thoroughly enjoyed every visit with Mary. And uh, I enjoyed meeting her family and friends that came in and out sometimes when we were there. Um, it was a joy to me to see how the Holy Spirit works in the lives of his people. Mary belongs to God and uh, she loves him. And um, 
you know, one of the things I saw him doing, saw the Holy Spirit doing, was he, he gave her such a understanding for the word. She just grasped everything so quickly. She, I mean, I, 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 I guess I was a little surprised, but she understood what was being uh, taught easily. And um, she had a love for the word. Um, and, you know, it was just a wonderful experience to see her grow from week to week. I took the liberty of looking at my calendar to see when we actually started those studies. And uh, it was actually October 19th in 2015 for me. Garrett started it a few weeks before I did, but um, I love the idea of uh, accompanying him on those studies because he was a teacher leader and I was a follower and a student because I was looking in and learning uh, from him because my initial reaction when it came to outreach was, I think I'm doing enough already. And I really didn't feel, I felt apprehensive about going. I didn't understand that really because I've taught in church for years at practically every level. Uh, but I was apprehensive and uh, the Lord worked it out where I was able to go with him and I was blessed. I was tremendously blessed. I, I would suggest, I, I guess I can do this. I, I would suggest that, um, that you volunteer. I volunteered. Gary never asked me. I volunteered. And you can do the same too. And um, the, the beauty of that whole thing was that I, in my mind, I conceptualized what my role was. And I felt that Garrett as teacher leader, I was student follower, that I could go along and I didn't have to be stressed. He was doing all the work. I mean, at least I thought. In terms of the teaching part, he let me actually teach one lesson. And that was thrilling. I really enjoyed that. And I look forward to the prospect of doing other Bible studies in the future. And I would encourage all of you to seriously you know, consider uh, soul winning for the Lord. There's nothing more beautiful than that experience. That's what we're supposed to all be about. Thank you. How many can say amen? amen. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself, Betty. The Holy Spirit led that. And friends, this is where, how many of you remember when you first came to Christ, the joy that you experienced? How many of you remember that? And then that joy continued for a while, but maybe that joy began to kind of wane and the troubles of life came in. How many of you have had that experience before, right? Let me tell you, friends, I've been in the church, I've been in the Adventist church now for, it will be 15 years this year, 15 years. And the thing that has kept my joy alive and the same joy that I experienced when I first came to Christ has been leading others to Christ and leading others to the truth. And that's where you maintain that joy, friends. So if you're not experiencing that joy, it's because you need to, to share it with somebody else, amen? And maybe you need a deeper walk with the Lord, but this has been powerful for Betty. So now she's gone along in the Bible studies. Now she's going to be ready to start giving them herself. How many of you want to say today, Lord, if you want me to do this, I'll do it, amen? How many would be willing to do that? Say, Lord, I'll do this. And you're going to have an opportunity. Let me just tell you real quick in 30 seconds. At camp meeting this year, they're going to be a 10-day Emmanuel Institute training session. So you can do that at camp meeting. Or what I'd rather you do is this fall from September 8th to 17th, right here at the Lansing Church, Emmanuel Institute is coming here. And they're going to do a 10-day training on how to give Bible studies and how to share your faith. And so I'm going to appeal to you today to, to start to pray about that. And we'll have a card about it here pretty soon. Start to pray about what the Lord would have you to do when it comes to leading others to the Lord Jesus. Amen. So, Sister Mary, we're so delighted to have you with us. It's been a joyful journey. Now, I've got to tell you guys, I sat down with her this week and I quizzed her and I put her through the gauntlet. And uh, we, just, we just put it on hard pressed and the Lord just, she just spouted out those answers. But you know what? It's not just about knowing answers, is it? It's about having the experience of the righteousness of Christ in your life. 
It's about knowing the Lord Jesus, not just knowing about him, not just knowing about the Bible, but letting the Bible become real to us. And I want to tell you today that that's the experience that our sister has had. And so it's been a joy to see you grow. And she's not the same person. I visited her several months ago, and then I visited her again this week to, to, to talk about baptism, or, or it was two weeks ago, and she's a different person. The Lord has just blessed her, and the Spirit of God has touched her life. Amen. Man, you ought to be more excited. <laughs> don't worry, I'm preaching a shorter sermon today, okay? So you don't have to worry. But how many of you ought to think that this is exciting, amen? Yeah. So sister, is there anything you'd like to say this morning? She's a little nervous, but... <laughs> um. I just thank the Lord for letting me come into this church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Has he, has, he, has he done something in your heart? Yes. What has he done? He made it joyful. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We praise God. So Mary, I'm just going to ask you a few questions this morning, and then we're going to do the deed. Yeah. She's always, she's a jokester. She likes to joke. And uh, I asked her if she, had, if she, uh, 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 this week I asked her, have you accepted Jesus as your Savior? And she says, well, I don't know. And I said, I looked at Garrett and I said, brother? <laughs> so, uh, but she was just teasing. Sister Mary, in all seriousness here, have you, do you believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God and that through the grace of God you want to live by its teachings? Is that your desire this morning? Yes. And the church said? Amen. Amen. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? And are you receiving him daily by faith that he might dwell within you and live his life through you? Have you had that experience? Yes. Amen. 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 Is it your desire to look forward to the second coming of Jesus Christ in the clouds of heaven and to be faithful to him by his grace until that day? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is it your desire this morning and, and, and until Jesus comes to keep his commandments and including the seventh day Sabbath, that special day that he set aside as a day for you and him to fellowship for that focus to be upon him that whole day. Is that your desire this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. Is it your desire to look to Jesus in the heavenly sanctuary each day and to rely upon him for strength to obey him and for him to do his will in your life? Is that your desire? Always. Is it your desire this morning to continue to support the Lord's work and His church uh, through being a faithful steward of your time, your talents, and your resources? Is that your desire this morning? Yes. Amen. And, and is it your desire this morning to unite yourself with this local church body, the Sev Lansing Seventh-day Adventist Church, but recognizing that when you do this, you're becoming a part of the global family of 20 million Seventh-day Adventists worldwide. Is that your desire this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. We're going to have a special prayer for Mary. How many of you will continue to pray for Mary in your, in your lives? Put her on your prayer list. Amen. And as I know you always faithfully do, surround her with your arms and with your love. Amen. Amen. Let's have a prayer together for Sister Mary. Father, this morning, we praise your name for our dear sister and for what you've done in her life. We ask you, Lord, to bless her to draw close to her, to minister to her, to continue to strengthen her and fill her with your spirit every day as she comes and surrenders herself to you. May your righteousness cover her and uh, may she experience, Lord, Jesus dwelling within her every moment of every day. And when Jesus comes again in the clouds of heaven, may it be so that she is among the faithful, looking to him, rejoicing in him, and saying from the depths of her heart, Lo, this is our God. We've waited for him, and he will save us. This is our prayer for our dear sister and for our church to strengthen her, to uplift her. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, your grandson is here as well. Where is he? Back in the back. Would you, st would you like to come up to the front? And your friend, those that are supporting Mary, would you just, you could just come right up here and just have a first-hand view. And Sister Betty, come on up. And uh, 
They thought they were going to get out of it. No, we want you guys to, to see it nice and clear. So uh, please come on up here. We appreciate that. Not to put you on the spot, but we're just going to put you on the spot. Sister Mary, because of your faith in Jesus, your love for him, your desire to give your life to him, yes, it gives me great joy now to baptize you, my sister. In the name of the Father, his Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. want to use this moment to make an appeal and I know we did this just last Sabbath but I want to make that appeal again because I know that there are folks even since last week that have made decisions and I want to invite if you have made a decision in your in your heart and you have talked to me or, or, or whatever maybe you've already made this decision but if you've made the decision to be baptized in the future coming up would you stand wherever you are? If you've already made that decision, and we've talked about it, would you stand? I know, praise God. Friends, church family, there's many here today, but I want to point to our brother Bob Murphy right there. Can you say amen this morning? And those that, have, that are standing, just keep standing. But there may be others this morning. There's several in the back. There may be others this morning who need to make that decision today who want to make that decision today. Either you want to be baptized, or maybe you say, I've been baptized, but I want to join God's last day church. Would those of you who would like to make that decision, I'm just going to make it straight and simple this morning, not a long drawn out, but would you make that decision today for Jesus and say yes to the Lord Jesus? If, you've made that, if you haven't made that decision, not an embarrassing moment, it's just an opportunity to follow Jesus. Which day in wherever you are, if that's you, if the Lord's calling you, praise God this morning, praise the Lord. Anyone else this morning? Anyone else? Praise God. Brother Seth, Ezra, praise the Lord for that. We praise God. Anyone else this morning? we we'll say yes, Lord. You're not putting pressure on people. We're just saying, Lord, this is an opportunity for the Lord to speak to you this morning. Anyone else this morning? Anyone else? Oh, Susan, praise the Lord to your sister. God bless you this morning. Any others? We're going, to have a, we're going to have just a quick prayer this morning. And then I'm going to keep that invitation open. So those of you standing, would you just keep standing where we have a prayer? Father, maybe someone else this morning who wants to make that decision. Maybe they're nervous. Maybe they're not sure. Maybe they are, are wrestling. But Lord, we want to ask your spirit to impress upon their hearts. Lord, we're not trying to pressure people, but we want you to, to, to convict them. We want you to speak to them. And it has to be from you, Lord. We're not, it's not from us, it's from you. So we ask it in Jesus' name. Friend, maybe there's one more today that would say yes to the Lord Jesus. I don't know, but I'm just inviting. I'm just appealing. Is there anyone else today as the Lord speaks to your heart? Amen. I see our sister right there in the back. Praise the Lord. We're, we're looking forward to that baptism as well. We've been talking about that one. Anyone else this morning? All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for those of you who have stood today. And we look forward to visiting with you, to meeting with you. And the Lord will continue to guide and bless. Amen. Can you say amen, church family? Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. This time, we'll continue our service. God bless you.
Good morning.